Okay, our next speaker. Okay. Here's Alexander okay. Svienko with the title Effects of Interactions of Axion like Dark Matter with Standard Model Particles. 40 minutes. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for uh, thank uh, the organizer for inviting me. My talk is devoted to uh, interaction of ax axions and axion like dark matter with uh, usual standard model particles. So, this is a way to uh, discover uh, axion or axion like particles. <clears throat> I will f focus uh, my talk on uh, just on uh, methods of uh, uh, discovers uh, axion like dark matter in experiments with uh, particles. <clears throat> <see. Yep>. Okay. <clears throat> This is outline of my talk. <clears throat> First of all, we uh, pay our attention to uh, interaction, uh, uh, sorry, interaction ca caused by, by dark market axions. <clears throat> uh, axion is a pseudo-scalar particle <clears throat> uh, which uh, 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 which uh, 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 co cause uh, um, pseudo-scalar uh, interaction and uh, is a uh, quantum of pseudo-scalar field. <clears throat> uh, moving axion form a wave, uh, which uh, pseudo-scalar field is uh, given here. Here, uh, N uh, E is energy of axion, but uh, because we consider uh, dark matter axion, uh, this uh, quantity is uh, practically equal to axion mass because uh, we consider uh, axions uh, moving uh, uh, respectively to the E's. And uh, this, um, um, is, 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 this motion is uh, rather slow. Um, velocity of uh, axion um, in relation to lab is about uh, 10 minus 3 second. <clears throat> uh, so uh, we ca can substitute a mass here and, <clears throat> and measure uh, uh, and measure uh, uh, um, axion field uh, in uh, uh, supposing that uh, axion uh, 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 axion energy is equal to mass of axion. <clears throat> uh, axion like dark matter uh, mean. Uh, uh, matter which interacts like the axion. So we will not uh, make a, a difference between axion and axion-like particles. Uh, in, uh, axion was introduced uh, uh, due to so-called Petchikwin theory, uh, which uh, in, introduced uh, New anomalous one uh, symmetry to the standard model, and uh, along with a new pseudo scalar field, which spontaneously breaks the symmetry at low energies, and uh, giving giving a rise uh, to axion uh, that suppress the uh, CP violation. So CP violation in strong uh, interaction is rather small. <clears throat> uh, so uh, strong CP problem uh, can be solved indeed uh, with uh, axion. In, in this case, we should um, 
uh, should uh, uh, substitute a well-known theta term in uh, quantum uh, chromodynamics uh, by the um, axion parameters. In this case, uh, in this case, postulate of a new global U1 symmetry. Uh, so uh, th that is Pechi Queen symmetry. Uh, can be reinterpreted as a scalar uh, axion field uh, by this manner. And uh, axion, uh, uh, axion becomes a gallstone-like boson. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Uh, the result of uh, axion gluon interaction, so axion in strong interaction, is a is a, a oscillation idiom. Uh, not all, not only uh, in uh, not only uh, idiom, but uh, so we, uh, we uh, the axion interaction with gluons. Uh, 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 it can be uh, seen uh, by experimentalists like a uh, some uh, uh, axion electric uh, some uh, some electric dipole moment of nucleons or other um, uh, strongly interaction particles. Uh, and this uh, electric dipole moment is proportional to constant of uh, axion gluon coupling. Uh, of course, axion uh, can also interact with photons, and uh, this electromagnetic interaction of axion lead to mixings of electric and magnetic fields, and a result in a uh, Lagrangian density, which uh, uh, describes just this mixed field. We can uh, we we can see here coupling between electric and magnetic field. And I uh, I uh, also um, mentioned. Uh, Another contribution to the to total Lagrangian density, uh, which is uh, defined by the gradient interaction. Uh, some people uh, call this effect as axion wind effect because because this effect is uh, zero if um, particle uh, is if some spinning particle. It, 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 uh, is uh, in rest uh, in relation to the uh, dark matter axioms. <clears throat> this uh, was introduced uh, in the 2008. 20, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, after this, we can uh, uh, form the Lagrangian, which describes uh, electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic interaction of axion, uh, which uh, uh, are uh, defined by uh, three main uh, contribution. I uh, I demonstrate here usual standard uh, Lagrangian uh, electric dipole moment uh, term and this term which uh, defines uh, axi uh, um, axion wind uh, effect. Uh, I uh, 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 axion field is. Uh, is uh, here presented presented with mass in uh, uh, depending from uh, mass. 
So we can uh, we can present uh, corresponding Hamiltonian in the Dirac representation, and after this, we uh, can already uh, we can already uh, pass to uh, pass to some other theoretical uh, prediction. Uh, if if uh, if we uh, suppose that all axion, uh, so axion is. Uh, uh, the main uh, uh, component of dark matter, we can uh, make some estimation of uh, axion in uh, axion uh, field. Uh, I demonstrated here, and so we can make any estimation of electric dipole moment, which uh, is due to uh, axion gluon interaction. But if we look at this formula, we can see that uh, uh, parameters are un unknown. So it is, uh, in my point of view, it is senseless to, uh, to make uh, some, um, some more or less uh, precise um, estimation uh, uh, and uh, I need uh, to focus uh, your attention and our attention to uh, some physical uh, aspects of uh, of uh, search for action like uh, dark, dark matter. Uh, first of all, um, this is an uh, optical experiment, or more uh, precisely, uh, experiment uh, with uh, uh, an, uh, ac uh, 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 with effect, ac experiment uh, um, studying effect uh, of uh, axion photon interactions. <coughs> Of course, uh, main uh, effect is, is inverse uh, Primakov effect. Um, so the uh, Primakov effect is a resonant transformation of a photon in a static uh, electric and magnetic field, uh, for example, in the field of nucleus, into a massive neutral, neutral uh, pseudoscalar particles. This uh, can be axion or other pseudoscalar particles. <laughs> this is Primakov effect. Uh, uh, particles uh, uh, can be uh, can uh, uh, be splitting into two photons and converting into a photon in electromagnetic fields. This is uh, inverse Primakov effect. I, uh, I demonstrate diagrams. Uh, axion detection uh, can be uh, fulfilled with um, some uh, holoscopes if uh, this uh, if uh, axion is if dark like matter axion are searched, or gelioscopes if uh, one search for uh, axion from the sun. Uh, but uh, why I demonstrate? Uh, 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 we need uh, some uh, magnet, uh, some. Uh, resonance uh, cavities <clears throat> and uh, some detection. Um, why I demonstrate the uh, 
the result of uh, experiment, the, uh, all uh, all uh, results was negative because action was not uh, discovered. Uh, and uh, the second uh, possibility is, uh, is shining laser light through a wall. So uh, 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 laser, uh, laser light uh, um, be, uh, is transformed into uh, action. It uh, pass through a wall, and uh, and after this, it uh, um, is transformed into uh, transformed back in the uh, light. Such experiment all also has be, uh, been fulfilled. But uh, my present talk is uh, focused on um, uh, experiment with particles. <clears throat> I demonstrated. Uh, uh, I demonstrated. Sorry. I demonstrated Hamiltonian. Uh, several minutes, this is one. And this Hamiltonian can be used uh, for uh, uh, for uh, calculation of effects. Uh, for uh, to, uh, to present formulas in Schrodinger-like form, uh, while we uh, use uh, just a relativistic formula, relativistic uh, quantum mechanics of uh, Dirac particles in pseudoscalar field of axion, uh, we need uh, to, uh, to fulfill a relativistic fold fusion transformation. And uh, relativistic Hamiltonian should be presented just in the fold fusion representation. A theory was, uh, a theory was uh, um, developed some uh, years ago, and the method of fold fusion has a very long theory. Uh, we need uh, to take into account that the position and spin operator and all other operators are, are counterparts of the corresponding classical variable only when they are defined in the uh, just in the foldy what's using representation, not in the Dirac representation. Uh, we need uh, to take into account such uh, um, preference of uh, foldy what's using representation because the passage to the classical limit usually reduced in a replacement of operator in quantum mechanical Hamiltonians and equations of motion, the foldy what's using representation. Uh, with the corresponding classical quantity. After this uh, preliminary word, I uh, can uh, split Hamiltonian in main term, uh, even and odd, uh, in relation to um, in relation to uh, di uh, so uh, in relation to uh, diagonal of of diagonal are the corresponding operator. So diagonal operator is a, um, uh, M and E and O is of diagonal operator which should be uh, eliminated by uh, foldy what's using transformation. I uh, uh, have no time to be detailed and all, uh, simply uh, present uh, the final form which can be 
used for in this relativistic case. And uh, I will demonstrate just the result. Uh, so we can split uh, Hamiltonian between uh, odd between odd and even operators, and uh, we obtained a, a three uh, a contribution to a new term in the Hamiltonian. Of course, I uh, demonstrate here not only new term but well known term too. Uh, this is uh, H1, H1's well known term. Uh, uh, without, uh, without electric dipole moment, uh, terms uh, uh, caused uh, by electric dipole moment of uh, uh, particles in axion field this one this is this is also uh, this is also known term but uh, we need to take into account that uh, d electric dipole moment of particles is in fact uh, is in fact uh, depending on time, depending on time and on uh, co coordinate. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so and uh, and the term uh, defining uh, the uh, axion wind effect is demonstrated here. So. We we have uh, two uh, two term in Hamiltonians, we, uh, two uh, groups of terms in Hamiltonians, uh, which um, define the uh, electric dipole moment effects co uh, caused by axion and. Uh, 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 wind effect or direct axion or direct axion particle interaction. <clears throat> I make uh, some uh, reference here. So uh, what are um, practical results of our uh, derivation? <clears throat> we uh, of course, we now can uh, obtain correction to the spin motion and include uh, correction uh, caused by axion uh, induced EDM. Sorry. Okay. <coughs> this, this uh, we have through term. The first term is uh, standard Thomas Bargman Michel Telegdi uh, term, standard uh, well known uh, spin uh, behavior uh, um, due to uh, magnetic moment and charge of uh, investigated particles. Second term, this is electric dipole moment, but uh, we can take into account that uh, electric dipole moment uh, now defined def uh, is def uh, uh, de is dependent on time. <clears throat> so if we need to check. Uh, the presence of axion uh, axion induced induced uh, interaction we need to uh, use electric or magnetic field which depend on time uh, which is uh, oscillating with the same frequency uh, as axion in this case uh, we need uh, to um uh, change uh, field uh, frequency 
for example, magnetic field frequency. And uh, this uh, change will, uh, this change if we have a resonance. Uh, so this, uh, uh, this uh, quantity oscillate with the, uh, with the frequency. Can see depending of axial mass, and the and we need uh, find the um, field uh, um, uh, field oscillation frequency which will be very close to this frequency. And uh, we we obtained uh, axial wind effect. In the, uh, this uh, this this is uh, velocity. And uh, we uh, can see that uh, velocity is uh, longitudinal, and uh, so uh, uh, so particle spin uh, sh should uh, rotate about the longitudinal axis. This is very different different axis in relation to. Uh, X is for uh, EDM effect. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> if we uh, study axion uh, effects in uh, storage range, we need to uh, to uh, extract uh, uh, extract. Uh, uh, cyclotron motion frequency here. Of course, uh, not only uh, the, the experiment can be fulfilled not only in storage ring, but, but also in uh, atoms. Uh, such experiment in atom is fulfilled uh, by Casper uh, collaboration. <clears throat> uh, uh, but uh, I need to uh, uh, to comment that uh, uh, new ad, uh, added uh, first term in the axion this term in a direct axion uh, particle interaction uh, is a three order of magnitude uh, higher uh, if we use a storage ream because uh, we can uh, use particles uh, which velocity is uh, of the same order as the light velocity. And uh, the um, uh, last uh, effect which uh, should should be uh, uh, analyzed here. This is a Witten effect. <clears throat> I um, refer to old uh, paper by Edward Witten <clears throat> in uh, 1979, very old paper, uh, but paper is very important. Uh, because uh, Witten found that if uh, we uh, consider uh, magnetic monopole uh, in the in uh, the axion field, uh, we can uh, prove that a magnetic monopole acquired some uh, electric charge. E is uh, electronic ch charge. And uh, this is uh, th this quantity proportional to um, uh, quantum chromodynamics constant theta. And uh, we can add some uh, integral um, integra, uh, uh, quantity or n is integral proportional to uh, electron charge. 
later, <coughs> later it is uh, has be later uh, much later uh, this effect was used by uh, Chun Chun Kao and Jitnitsky and uh, new, in new paper by Jitnitsky uh, and they uh, found that uh, magnetic dipole moment of any uh, microscopy microscopical uh, configuration in the background of uh, axion field generates the electric dipole moment so uh, so in uh, in electric field we obtain some uh, no uh, in electric field or uh, any ma ma uh, particle this uh, magnetic moment like electron or positron acquire uh, electric dipole moment and this electric dipole moment will be also time dependent and oscillating uh, with the same frequency as axion field and we obtain uh, also any other um, uh, correction to usual electrodynamics so electrodynamics will be changed and finally I uh, will refer to very new paper, sorry, paper by Heidenreich and others, non-standard axion electrodynamics and the dual dual written effect. This 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 year, uh, so um, it uh, was uh, supposed that. Uh, uh, that uh, new idea to uh, use electric mag and magnetic duality uh, to um, to discuss to find uh, some dual uh, with an effect uh, can be successful. In this case, if uh, dual uh, electrodynamics uh, works uh, and uh, dual Witten effects exist, uh, we uh, obtain an uh, interesting effect that electrically charged particles acquires also a, mag a magnetic charge and it becomes a dion. <clears throat> Uh, we can use uh, this idea a confined equation of motion of a particle with electric and magnetic charge and dipole moment the ones in electromagnetic field uh, so this is very important effect if it uh, uh, exists uh, because uh, you uh, we can see uh, charge, uh, magnetic charge, uh, can be slightly more easily discovered than the uh, electric dipole moment. I demonstrate here uh, some uh, derivations. Here, uh, here is known formula for uh, 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 spin mo uh, for uh, motion of dion, uh, dion in uh, electric and magnetic fields, and uh, we can also obtain uh, the corresponding equation of uh, the uh, equation of uh, uh, motion of. Uh, uh, spin uh, for spinning particles. Method are known. Five minutes. So this is equation of motion, and uh, uh, and here is uh, equation of spin motion 
we uh, can uh, check that th there are some new terms uh, defining by uh, uh, defining uh, defined by uh, charge uh, magnetic charge of uh, uh, particle with electric and magnetic uh, charge. I can summarize and finish my talk. So we uh, find Dirac Hamiltonian with an allowance for the uh, for the axion uh, axion uh, effect axion dark matter, uh, and uh, we fulfilled for the diffusion transformation. So. Uh, it can be, uh, we can take into account axion uh, gluon, axion photon coupling, and direct direct axion particle coupling, so, uh, so called axion wind effect. Axion induced interactions lead to appearance of uh, oscillation idioms, and possibly if uh, if uh, inverse Witten effect exists, uh, to oscillating effective magnetic charge. We have obtained a related equation of mode. Uh, about axion uh, wind effect, we uh, can uh, note that it uh, results in the spin rotation about the long uh, longitudinal axis. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for a nice presentation. <clears throat> uh, are there questions from the, okay, Alexander, please ask your question. <clears throat> okay, thank you for your presentation. My question concerns uh, possible maybe numerical uh, estimations of uh, your effects, for instance, uh, uh, concerning omega axion, it depends on the uh, uh, coupling constant of uh, axion with uh, nucleons. It seems to me that there are some uh, bounds, uh, limits on this coupling. Did you try to estimate uh, the effect numerically? Maybe it will be very small. This effect indeed is very, very small. Uh, and uh, moreover, it, it is, uh, uh, I, I don't, uh, uh, I cannot uh, estimate it because uh, all main uh, uh, quantities are unknown. So we, we can, we don't know, uh, we don't know, uh, we cannot even estimate uh, no mass uh, of axion, no its field because we can do not know constant f and uh, even order of magnitude is a matter of uh, old and new discussions uh, presently we ca we cannot make any um, estimate one of my, my courses uh, even uh, said me that uh, he is not uh, optimistic in uh, uh, possibility to discover it in uh, because of uh, because if mass it will it will be very small uh, this, this is a problem and uh, um, and uh, decay constant can all also be um, arbitrary. We cannot, uh, we, we can only uh, uh, find uh, some models, but um, uh, we cannot verify these models. In, uh, so uh, all experiment is uh, uh, only, um, 
restrict restrict some axion parameters. Okay, thank you. Thank you. More questions, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait a second. I have a simple question. What is the lowest allowed value of axion or axon-like particles so that they can successfully, uh, well, fulfill the job of being dark matter? What is the uh, lowest uh, limit? Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, I uh, don't... Uh, do, do you need to, uh, to repeat the question? Yes. We can even in Russian because yeah, по русски проще. Uh -huh. С каки, какое значение массы аксиона или аксиона подобных частиц наименьшее, чтобы аксион по-прежнему успешно выполнял роль частиц темной материи? Например, если масса ноль, так он не будет темной материей. Yes. Если нижний предел. Uh, I am um, I afraid that uh, uh, there is no any um, uh, any uh, mass uh, which, uh, b because uh, mass uh, can be uh, on my uh, uh, as far as I know uh, the mass can be arbitrary small. And uh, but of course it is non-zero, but uh, it, it can be very small. Uh, we can we can now uh, find its uh, upper limit, but uh, lower limit we can we do not know. So zero is allowed. Uh, um, so zero mass is allowed. So uh, I I I cannot uh, mm, exactly uh, said you, but uh, all uh, model are um, uh, all known uh, for Tommy model uh, predicts that uh, mass is non-zero, but can be small. It, it is unknown. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, any more questions? No, let's think and speak again. Can we go further? The, the next talk by Professor Elena Arbuzova. Uh, super heavy dark matter in R squared modified gravity. 30 minutes. Сейчас хорошо, да.